Cinderella. Long ago, there was a beautiful little girl. Her father was a very rich man. When she was young, her mother became very ill and died. A year later, her father married again. Her stepmother also had two pretty daughters. Although they were pretty, they were bad. They took the little girl's pretty clothing and let her wear rags and live in the kitchen. She had to fetch water, make breakfast, and wash the clothes before the day broke. The two elder sisters often bullied her, and she slept near the fireplace in the kitchen. There was ash all over her, so they called her Cinderella. Once. Father was going to the market, and asked what Cinderella and the two elder sisters wanted. One of the elder sisters wanted pretty clothing, and the other wanted a pearl gem. Cinderella only wanted hazel branch that might touch her father's hat. Her father brought them these things. Cinderella planted the hazel branch in the front. Of her mother's tomb, she cried sadly. Her tears soaked the branch. The branch grew up slowly, and became a beautiful little hazel tree. Cinderella always went to the little tree three times every day. Each time, a white pigeon would fly to the little tree. Cinderella made a wish, and the little white pigeon would get her what she wanted. Once, in order to choose the bride for the prince, the king held a big dance party for three days. All the pretty girls in the country were invited. The two elder sisters of Cinderella were also invited. They were very glad, and they made Cinderella help them comb their hair and polish their leather shoes. Cinderella also wanted to attend. And then asked her stepmother to take her. Her stepmother said that she couldn't go because she was so dirty and had no nice clothing. She asked again and again. Her stepmother said, "All right, I will pour a bowl of beans in the ash. If you can pick them out in two hours, I will let you go." Cinderella walked near the little tree and said, "Lovely little white pigeon, all the birds, please help me pick the beans out." The little white pigeon called all the birds to come to the fireplace. They picked out all the beans and put them into the bowl. In one hour, they found them all. Cinderella gave the bowl of beans to her stepmother. However, her stepmother still would not let her go to the ball. She cried. Stepmother again told her to pick out two bowls of beans from the ash in an hour. So she came again and called Little White Pigeon near the little tree to help her with all the birds. They finished this in half an hour. However, her stepmother still did not let her go, and only took the two elder sisters. Cinderella walked to the little hazel tree and said, "Little hazel tree, please shake and make me golden clothing and silver shoes." The little white pigeon on the tree indeed made her golden clothing and a pair of shoes made from silvery thread. She went to the party, but her stepmother and two elder sisters did not recognize her. They thought that she was a princess who had come from a foreign country. The prince walked over to her and asked her to dance. After this, the prince didn't dance with any other girls. When the other men asked Cinderella to dance, the prince said. She is my dancing partner.
The prince danced with her all evening. When Cinderella said that she wanted to go home, the prince accompanied her. He wanted to know where this beautiful girl lived. When she reached home, she left the prince and hid herself in the pigeon's house. When Cinderella's father returned, the prince said, "A beautiful girl is hiding in the pigeon's house." The father broke off the door of the pigeon's house with an axe. However, nobody was there. Soon the stepmother returned, and they saw Cinderella in a dirty and old grey gown, lying in the ash near kitchen, sleeping. In fact, Cinderella had just jumped out of the pigeon's house, ran to Little Hazel Tree, and returned the golden clothing and silver shoes to the little white pigeon, and then returned to the kitchen quietly. The second day, after her parents and two elder sisters had gone out, Cinderella went near Little Tree and said, "Little Hazel Tree." Please shake to cast the golden clothing and silver shoes to me. The little white pigeon again threw much more pretty clothing and shoes than yesterday, which made all the people surprised. The prince was waiting for her, and he only danced with this girl. In the evening. The prince sent her home. She again slipped away from the prince, ran to the garden, and climbed up a pear tree. The prince waited for her father to return, and told him that she was hiding in the pear tree. The father again cut down the pear tree with a big axe. However, no one was there. When the stepmother returned, they saw Cinderella. Sleeping in the ashes like before. In fact, she had jumped down the side of pear tree, returned the pretty golden clothing and silver shoes to the little white pigeon, and come back. The third day, after her parents and two elder sisters had gone out, Cinderella got more beautiful golden clothing and a pair of golden lion shoes from the little white pigeon. On the hazel tree, she put them on to attend the dance party. The prince still only danced with her. In the evening, the prince sent her home. The prince had a plan. He made someone smear the stairs with pitch. When Cinderella went down the stairs, the golden dance shoe on her left foot stuck to the pitch. She ran home with a bare foot, and returned the clothing and shoe to the little white pigeon, and then hid in the kitchen. The prince took the shoe. What a nice golden shoe it was! He was determined to find the girl who wore this golden shoe, and for her to be his bride. The next day, in the morning, the prince took the shoe. To Cinderella's home, he told the father of the three girls, "I will marry the girl who may put on this shoe." Hearing that, two elder sisters were so glad because they wanted to be the prince's bride. The eldest sister tried it on first, but her foot was too big; she couldn't wear it at all. Her mother took a knife and said. Cut your toe down quickly. Once you are queen, many people will serve you. You need not walk. The eldest sister cut her toe down and put on the shoe, and then painfully looked at the prince. The prince treated her as his bride and took her for a ride on a horse. When they passed by the hazel tree. The little white pigeon shouted from above, "Quick, look! Blood is seeping through the golden lining. She is not the real bride." The prince saw her foot bleeding. 
because her toe was cut. He sent her to go home and said that she was not the real bride. Next, another elder sister put on the shoe. Her toes went in, but her heel was too big. Her mother took a knife and cut her heel down. After this, she put on the shoe. The prince then took her as his bride and took her for a horse ride. By the little hazel tree, the little white pigeon again shouted from above, Look quickly! Blood is seeping from the golden shoe. She is not the real bride. The prince saw that. Her heel was still bleeding and also sent her to go home and said, She was not the real bride. Do you still have another daughter? Her father said, A dirty and ugly Cinderella? She can't be your bride. Her stepmother said, She is too dirty to meet anyone. The prince said, I want to see her. They had to let Cinderella come out. Now Cinderella was completely clean. She walked out and bowed to the prince. The prince gave the golden shoe to her. She took off her wooden slippers and put on the golden shoe. It fit perfectly. The prince recognized her. She was the beautiful girl who danced with him. He said, This is my bride. Then he took Cinderella for a horse ride. By the little hazel tree, the little white pigeon sang joyfully above. Look, quick, look. The golden shoe fits perfectly. The prince and his bride can go home. When the prince and Cinderella got married, her two bad elder sisters came and flattered her. The little white pigeon also flew there. It was so angry that it pecked the eyes of the two bad elder sisters and blinded them to punish them for their selfishness. Elephant English.